Modern society is strangling men and leaving them crushed and depressed. And I'm not exaggerating. The male suicide rates have skyrocketed. It is ridiculous how many men are ending their own lives. And so many of them don't even understand why they're doing it. They just want to escape from the pain. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a deep dive into male depression and modern society and why it is getting so much worse and the steps we need to take to deal with male depression and help men get stronger. You may have seen one of my recent tweets go super viral and we get picked up all across the United States and across the world. People were retweeting the retweets of the retweets and taking screenshots of it. I did a couple of podcasts about it, got heard by a few million people on some of those podcasts. Male depression needs to be everywhere. That's what really got amplified. Not just me, Adam Smith, the attachment specialist, but male depression and somebody finally talking about it in a way that made sense. I'm gonna share with you exactly what it was that resonated so hard with that tweet that I made, but also the story behind it and the work that we need to do to rescue men from death especially the men you love in your life. So let's talk about male depression. And a few of the things I'm gonna talk about today, some of the resources, a lot of these things will be available on my website, adamlanesmith.com. Check that website out. I've got a course on there. I have books. I have all kinds of resources to help you. So if you are looking after this video for ways to get started, things to help the men in your life, things to help yourself if you are a depressed man, you wanna work on your attachment, check my website, adamlanesmith.com, especially my private community, the attachment circle, where you can work with me in the group setting and connect to other people who can help you get through a difficult time and give you the support you need to build the life you really want. Talk about that a little bit later. So what was it that got the world so fired up that I posted online? Well, I talked about this. Male depression is largely based on a feeling of learned helplessness. Men feel powerless in their own lives. Usually powerless over pain, powerless over frustration, or powerless in the fact that they don't have a mission or purpose in life. They don't know how to get connected to other people and they are lost and alone and don't think they can do anything about that pain that they are enduring. Suicide is almost never, ever, ever about actually wanting to die. In fact, it's really not. I've worked with one of the leading suicidologists in the world and heard them say, yes, it's never about death. It is always about wanting to escape from the pain that they're experiencing and they don't see any other way out. That is a proven fact by some of the leading experts of suicide in the world to escape from pain. So the tweet that I made was that men don't get treated the way they need to. Therapy doesn't focus on males and their, their specific depression. Therapy makes men feel loved and better and like, hey, happy in their relationships, but that's not what men want. Men need to find power in their life. A lot of people jumped on this and said it was stupid because why should men have power? Power is self-efficacy. Power, power is the ability to control your life and your pain. Power can be as simple as I can go get a better job, make more money and feed my family. That can be an example of power. It can be I am lonely and no longer want to be lonely so I know how to make real good friends. Power can be I don't know how to fix my relationships but now I have learned how and I build better relationships. Power can be I feel useless and unloved in my life and I need to build connection but I need to be able to make it happen myself. Yes, that's power and love. Yeah, I noticed that too. This power is men. Men need power. Men are acting creatures. The male brain goes back, mostly backwards to front. That's how the male brain mostly moves. When you track the movement of how it works, it observes and then acts upon that observation. When it can't, when it gets stuck, we start getting frustrated and that's where we're missing data. A lot of men need other men so that they can share that data and get what they need to be doing. But so many men don't know the solutions to those problems and they can't connect to other men. So they are stuck. So the brain goes click, 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 click for years and they fall into pain and misery and struggle and feel hopeless. And that's when the depression starts and then they feel they feel helpless and that's where the depression starts. Then they get hopeless that it's ever going to get better and they start looking for a way out through suicide. They don't really want to, but the tree in the backyard starts looking more and more friendly. You'd be surprised how many men I talk to in my coaching practice or just online in DMs and emails who say, Adam, I've never told anyone this, but I have a tree in my backyard that I look at when I'm feeling really depressed and I try to tell my, talk myself out of going out there and hanging myself. But there is a specific branch on a specific tree that I know is waiting for me. There could be men in your life right now who have picked a tree branch. That should be frightening. Some of the men watching this right now have probably picked a tree branch. 
that's possible. And if you have, I want you to know that there is hope. The missing gap here, the missing gap, I'm going to talk about here in a few minutes exactly what we need to do to help male depression. It'll be in the second half of this video. Please don't miss it. But I want to, I want to clue in one more time on power, mission, and purpose. This is what men are really looking for. Men are not looking for fluffy feelings and to just feel, yay, happy. If you give a man a mission, he can crawl over broken glass with a smile and put up with massive crap. If you give men enough purpose, they can chase it down. Men can fight to survive tooth and nail for years if they are fulfilling a purpose and feel powerful enough to achieve that purpose. This is what action movies are about. Men don't just crumble in the middle of the, in act one. He's like, oh no, the terrorists have guns. Oh, well, I give up. I, that's gonna be just too much to fight them. No, he's like, they have guns. I must get a bigger gun. And then he finds a bigger gun and begins shooting them in the face repeatedly. And we're like, yeah. and that's why we love action movies is because that is a dude overcoming things through power over and over and over and over. And by the end, yes, he hits a dark night of the soul where he's tempted to fall into misery and instead says, what have I learned? I'm going to use that to become more powerful. And something comes through and he lifts himself up by the bootstraps and begins shooting people in the face with an even bigger gun. That is what we want to live. That's why we love John Wick. I love John Wick. That's why we love Die Hard. That's we love movies where guys are in situations that look like they should be powerless. He's got no shoes on and he's like, yeah, I'm going to talk about Die Hard for a while. I love the movie. Sorry. He's got no shoes on and he has to fight like all these terrorists in the building and they have his wife captive and he's on the top floor and can't communicate and he's straight and he's stuck and like all the odds are against him and he's like I must get a bigger gun so he kills a dude who's huge and then continue barefoot and gets a bigger gun sorry spoiler alert but it's an amazing movie you should watch it anyway and he gets a bigger gun and then begins getting explosives and at the end he has two guns and he like all these amazing things happen this is a man getting power when it looks like he shouldn't have it and that's what so much of us admire and that's what we love. That's what male entertainment is really about. It's the male fantasy of I get power and I'm able to use it. Now, yes, modern day male entertainment. I've written about this. I, I've, I've wrote a separate thing on here. If you check out my, my previous video, the scheduled death, the scheduled murder of male entertainment, check out that video, the scheduled murder of male entertainment. You will see how male entertainment has shifted to just, I magically get power and everything is special again. That's what men are. That's the depth of escape. Most men are now looking for when they're crushed by depression, but it doesn't have to be that way. Let's talk about how to fix male depression, how to fix the overall idea of male depression. Men need information. Men need data. We need power, right? Our brain goes backwards to observe and forward to act. The missing gap is that information about how to act and the solution we are looking for. The male brain is a solution focused machine. That is what it is, it is built to do is achieve missions and solve problems. When we get stuck, it is because we don't have the data we need to solve that problem. But someone else on earth has solved that problem. In the old days, men would have gone to other men, their mentors, their gurus, their coach, their father, their grandfather, their uncle, all these men you would have had in your tribe and said, I have this problem. And he would say, I had that problem. Here's what I did to fix it. Oh, and he gives you the solution. He like pulls the chip out of his head and clicks it into your computer in your head. And you're like, oh, that's great. I've been playing cyberpunk lately. So sorry for that. It works right in. Uh, plugs it into your head. And all of a sudden, instead of click, 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 you get off. Oh, observe act. Oh, that is the solution. And then you act upon it. Yes. You get your voice gets deeper because the testosterone goes up. Actually they show as you solve problems, your testosterone often does go up. Men, our testosterone goes up as we solve problems. As we feel powerless, our testosterone kind of goes out and deflates and we get worse and worse and worse sinking into depression. This requires other, especially other men. You can, you can get solutions information from women too, but men will look at it as a solution. It's easiest to just walk up to them and say, Hey, I got this problem. What can I do? Hey, okay, do this. And we just like rapid fire. That's how men communicate. Men need other, especially other men. But if a woman is able to give you that solution, by all means, please take her up on it. Men need this communication. We need these solutions to the problems. We need to be able to connect other people to get the missing data that we do not have ourselves. This is absolutely crucial. Modern life sucks so much attachment, connection, and bonding out of us that men are isolated creatures, fearful of bonding, and now can no longer connect other people. So you cannot get the data. You have all the data you can find, and that's it. This is one reason podcasting is so big. This is one reason you're probably watching this YouTube channel. Hey, I don't really have these people in my life that'll teach me, but hey, this guy, Adam, he'll teach me. He'll teach me. This is this. 
This is why, though, YouTube has a comment section. This is why I have an email. Support at adamlanesmith.com. Support at adamlanesmith.com. If you're watching this and you're stuck and you're like, Adam, all right, man, I'm going to take you up on it. I've never asked another man for help, and I'm finally going to ask you, like, what am I supposed to do about this? I will, I will email you back. We will talk about it. This is one reason I built my attachment circle community. It runs through Discord. Tons of men and women in there, but it's amazing to watch the women and many of them are looking for solutions, but they also care and nurture and support. Well, the guys are like rapid fire solutions at each other back and forth in this incredible data sharing circle. And then the two intersect and it's incredible to watch them work together in the group, like solutions, comfort and sharing and solutions from the female perspective. And like, wait a minute, what about that solution about this piece? This might be missing and getting that input. It's incredible to watch that community grow like that. But if you are looking for men and you're wanting that connection, join my attachment circle connection, the attachment circle discord group. There'll be a link down below in the description, or there's a link in my about section with the link tree or just adamlanesmith.com. Check the attachment circle tab. But th my point is, if you're a depressed man watching this, the answer is not to keep banging your head against the wall until you die. The answer is to build connection with other people who can give you the solutions you need to the problems that you can't solve. Your brain has decided, I can't solve this problem, therefore it's impossible to solve. No, you are missing data. You're missing data and probably your attachment issues have prevented you from reaching out to people who have that data. You've just concluded it's hopeless from your perspective. It is if you stay stuck and don't connect to people. It will be hopeless because you are not going to magically come up with the insight of, hey, I should solve this problem this way that I've never even seen. Very rarely does that happen. Very rarely, you need to gather information and connect to other people to get information. Whether that's watching a million and a half YouTube videos and podcasts and stuff, you can get information that way. It works best to work with people. That's why you have coaches. That's why I'm a coach. I coach people personally one-on-one -on -one to just accelerate them through it. It's faster that way. You need help. If you are a man watching this who's depressed, your answer is to connect other people who can give you solutions to then help you feel more powerful in your life as you solve problems. That's what you need. That's why the suicide isn't the answer because it's really just saying, well, I'm not gonna reach out to anyone to get the solution, so it's just hopeless, so I'm just gonna give up. That, that's ultimately what it is. That's ultimately what it is, is it's impossible to even reach out or get help, so I'm giving up. If that's where you're at, please take the step of emailing me or, or talking to somebody in your life. Talk to somebody and say, all right, I don't think there's a way to fix this, but you know what? I'll fire this up one more time. What do you think I should do about blank? Have you ever had this situation happen to you? And if so, what did you do about it? Or do you know someone who has that would be willing to give me some information? Because I'm stuck and I really need some help here. That simple. That is that is how you start that conversation. You ask if they have or a referral to someone who has. Or you email me, or you email another coach, or you email whoever is dealing with the problem you are dealing with or who has solved that problem. This is why I go on and on about my experiences so that you will understand that I have solved them and I can help you. Other coaches, same thing. Uh, we solved X. We can help you solve X. Come to us and we will help you. That's what, that, that's what the process is supposed to be. Get that help. This is what will help start dealing with male depression. This is how we stop that suicide rate that is just astronomical. This is how we get men out of depression and back into powerful nature and powerful lives where they are doing good with the power that they have. Please take this message out into the world and tell people because this is what men really need. And while you're at it, drop me a comment below. Guys, if this is resonating with you really hard, drop me a comment below and say, hey, Adam, you know what? This actually made sense. Thank you. Uh, if you're going to share this with someone, say, Adam, I, you know, I, I'm not depressed myself, but I will share it with blank. Let me know that. If you have questions, drop them down below in the comment section. If you have really urgent questions or longer ones, send me an email, support at adamlanesmith.com. Send me an email. We'll talk about it. I will say, hey, you know what? Here's some information. Here's what you need. Or, hey, you know, I got this resource. Check out this attachment sales guide I give to people. Or, hey, you know what? You need deeper help. Have you considered coaching? Have you considered joining my community? I can work with you personally inside the community or in the coaching practice. Can we do this together and build this together? It's not about trying to take money out of your pockets and, and, and fleece you. I am, I am really here to help you solve the problems I have helped and I have fixed myself. That is my job. My job is to help you solve the problems I have solved so that you don't have to solve them alone. That's my whole purpose in life. That's what you're watching me do right now. So if I can help you, send me an email. Drop me a comment with your questions or your thoughts or if this just hit you really hard. Drop me that comment. 
let me know. And make sure you subscribe to this channel if you would, please. I've got a ton more resources on here, but please do check out my earlier guides. I've got a couple of them that you need to watch. Right now, click on the scheduled murder of men's entertainment. Just search that on my channel. You'll enjoy that one. Another one you can watch is, is modern life making men unsecure? Check that one out. It does a deep dive into the generations and why men have got worse and worse and worse over the last hundred years and what you're really looking at. Check those out on my YouTube channel here and hit me up in the comments. Thank you.